In Adam Smith's famous book, The Wealth of Nations, we find the following assumption, and I quote, basic institutions that protect the liberty of individuals to pursue their own economic interest result in greater prosperity for the larger society, end of quote. The index our estimated colleagues will present uh, to you today, and to all of us today, uh, is based on this assumption. Let us define it uh, how we actually look at the index. It's the highest form of economic freedom which should provide an absolute right to property ownership, full freedom of movement for labor, capital and goods, and an absolute absence of coercion or constraint of economic activity beyond that which is necessary for the protection and maintenance of liberty itself. When you love liberty, uh, you look for liberty lovers everywhere in the world. We know they're not just uh, in the United States. And uh, at the Heritage Foundation, we're particularly interested in this idea uh, of liberty. We're, we have a mission at the Heritage Foundation, uh, which is to promote public policy. So we're in Washington, D.C., we work on public policy, and we want it to be based on the principles of individual freedom limited government, the free enterprise system, traditional American values, and a strong national defense. And we have a vision at the Heritage Foundation. Our vision is to build an America where freedom, opportunity, prosperity, and civil society flourish. And so the preamble to our Constitution says, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Now the reason I wanted to share these words with you tonight is my suspicion is that in your own countries you perhaps think of the reason governments are organized in your own countries for similar reasons. Uh, but in the United States of America, we are really having a renaissance of people in our country who want to read the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence and want to know why the elected officials in Washington might be going beyond the proper role of the national government in their activities and why we cannot get back to a government that's only interested in securing the blessings of liberty and protecting our nation from enemies and foes without and within. Today, the Heritage Foundation champions this Constitution and this Declaration, all of the work that we do. And as we think about our neighbors uh, across the pond, across the Atlantic, uh, we look to identify those who are allies of ours in these kinds of views, this kind of a soaring vision, this kind of a limited government perspective that allows the freedom of the people to prosper so that people themselves can govern their own lives, uh, look after their own families, and, and, and actually benefit from having their income, most of their income reserved to their families to, to be used in the way that the families think is best. These are some of the principles that we think need to be elevated and rediscussed by our partners across the Atlantic. There's always some uh, questions when, when I talk with folks about the Tea Party in America today. Uh, the Tea Party people in America today are basically citizens who for many years allowed government to just go on doing what government does without paying attention to the people. And finally, many people who are involved in the Tea Party movement said, the tax bill is too high. Government is doing too much. Our families our children are suffering. What will their future look like? Will they have the same freedoms that we've enjoyed in this country? And the decision that they arrived at was a resounding no. They will not have this opportunity if we don't go back to the kind of government in Washington that our founders intended and to identify with people elsewhere in the world who appreciate individual liberty and the free enterprise system and limited government and the traditional American values. Take our countries and our continents forward to the next century 
uh, with a much brighter future for everyone who lives in our countries and the friendship and the friends that we have uh, in, in our several neighbor, neighboring countries. So I look forward to the opportunity to work with you in the future as uh, the Heritage Foundation and our friends and allies work to develop these kinds of idea-based uh, efforts to bring us together on principles and values and take our countries forward uh, and lead so that our citizens will be more free and more prosperous and the world will be a better place, more peaceful, more safe, and more secure for all of us.